Today, Kevin and I are gonna try some Goya Bacalitos. Uh, these were sent to us from Iris, so thank you, Iris. The fish um, fritters. Yeah, it's a fish fritter mix, and it already contains the fish. So it says uh, you just uh, use a, it's a frying mix, and you just add water. So Kevin is going to demonstrate. Uh, basically, you wanna um, empty contents of this package into a bowl, add one cup of water to the mix, stir until lumps disappear, um, a spoonful of mixture uh, makes a fritter fry in oil at medium heat or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for golden brown crispy fritter. So I've got my oil going in my pan. It does say the fish has been deboned, but you may still run into a bone, but just, um, just got to go for it. Did it say what kind of fish it was or it just didn't fish? Mention, it just said fish. I'm sure if I looked at the ingredients, we'd find out. But yeah, there's what it looks like. And Kevin is used to making um, like hush puppies from a mix like this. So I'm sure he'll make some good looking fritters. Um, if you've never had hush puppies, by the way, uh, cooks from a mix, it's, it's, they're really, really good. They have a lot of flavor. But the website for these is Goya.com, very simple, G-O-Y-A.com. And uh, this, this is a, like a Latin American uh, food. It's Pollock. Okay. It's dehydrated powdered Pollock. And then it also has uh, garlic as well. I can smell the garlic. Yeah. So we've had uh, Pollock. Oh, yeah. That's what you eat in uh, the UK a lot. Okay. So it all should be hot. It's not a very thick mix. It's pretty, pretty thin. So it just said one spoonful. That's a really thin. Maybe if you lay it in one spot. Well, they look pretty flat on the box in the picture. So maybe this is how they're so flat. It's because it's thin and it flattens out as you lay it down. I think you'll be able to get yeah, one more. Yeah, they start to float a little bit. Okay, we have some here to review. Uh, I did weigh them out because you get uh, three tablespoons, 29 grams or 100 calories. That's, that's 100 calories. Yes, this is 26 instead of 29, but basically you get three good sized pieces and that is your 100 calories. Yeah. Um, um, I wanted to just mention that this is the, this is one of the originals that I put in. This is... You, I, for, I forgot <laughs> while I was doing the thing, once you mix it up with the water and get the lumps out, you're supposed to let it set for a few minutes, I guess, to thicken up. It never thickened up, really. So you can see they're basically the same. That this, the ones I waited a little while for are actually a little bit bigger, but that could have just been a bigger spoonful. So they're, they're the same thickness, basically. So, so these are from the first batch. That's from our yeah, the second so batch. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you after a few minutes of saying it really didn't make much difference. Um, if I were to do it again, I'd probably add not the whole cup of water all at one time. I'd probably add uh, most of it and stir it up just to get a little bit thicker, I think, because the picture shows them as being thicker than that. Uh, they, yeah, they do look a little bit. More uh, like, not really hush puppies, which are really, really big, but they do look thicker. That's the picture. Yeah. So anyway, that's all the thing I do different. Okay. Mm. I love the garlic flavor. Mm -hmm. They smell very fishy while mm -hmm. they were cooking, but they don't taste really fishy. No, that, but I do taste it once you swallow Oh yeah, it. you do get the fish. So, on the initial bite, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you what these remind me of, the texture and everything. I think you'll agree. Um, on the initial bite, you really, really taste garlic, but then when you swallow it, that's where the fish flavor comes in mm -hmm. behind it. But it's not like, it's fishy. It's fishy, but when it's not as, fish. and it, yes, but it's not as fishy as I've had. But the texture of this reminds me 
of those like little crack ones that you get when you go right, to Long John Silver's or yeah at Long John Silver's or Captain D's one yeah they'll they'll give you some uh, the fish and the hush puppies and stuff and then in the bottom they usually have these little I don't know what you call them I want to call them like little crack ones like crumbs crumbs yeah, yeah they're deep fried crumbs that's what that texture yeah. is like you know when I worked at a restaurant we make those on purpose. Oh, I'm sure they do because people buy them. We've bought them on no. purpose before. You take, we used to just take our hands and dip it in there and just kind of go like this to right. the oil, but you're frying them in the same oil the fish is it fried in, so you get that kind of fish it's flavor. It's like you're from. making a funnel cake, except it's with fish. Yeah, and it's got the little ball. Yeah. I agree. Or, or the pieces of the breading on the fish that's like on the edges, they got a little thick on the edges of the fish. It's right. not fish, it's just a little of the breading that right. had, it's attached to the fish. Right. That's what it reminds me of, too. So, yeah, I agree. It's, it, it's more I, of the batter than the fish. <laughs> I don't know how Iris eats these. Uh, she'll have to let us know in the comments. But I think these would be delicious if you had a side little side bowl of tartar yeah, sauce. Yeah, would be good. And you dipped them in that tartar sauce. Yeah. I, we love tartar sauce. Because it does have a little bit of a tang to it. Like mm -hmm. a little bit of a sharpness to it. Yeah. Like it's a, a vinegar or, or something in there. It's got a little sharpness to it. Which is good. I mean, it adds to it. It's like almost like a vinegar. Right. Um, I think they're good. But yeah, I like these a lot and we've never had anything no. like them. And so, they're super easy yeah. to fix. You just put them in there. It takes a little while to brown the first batch, but once you start getting that first batch, the oil's kind of going. The, um, yeah, it's already it, heated up. Yeah, it goes really batches, quick. Yeah, the next batches don't take long at all. Uh, so thank you so much, Iris, for the experience and for letting us get to mm -hmm. try these. We appreciate it and thanks for watching.